So, hi internet, I'm here to talk to you guys about my Seagate experience. In the following video, I know it's a long video, but you guys can get Candy Crush and start playing while you listen to my customer service experience. Now let me just say, this was the first product that I bought from Seagate. It was a one terabyte portable backup hard drive. And it lasted me about two weeks until the disk stopped spinning. And it was both under my Staples warranty and the Seagate warranty. And I was, this was right before finals week because it was like November. And I had a lot of projects due, so I had them thinking because everyone had told me how Seagate was the best of the best. They haven't had any problems with them. Even my computer science friends even said that they buy Seagate. So I bought Seagate, and when I had this problem, the people at Staples were even like, that was very unusual for you to have a problem. Sometimes there's lemon, so maybe it's just the power cord or something, because the light, the light wouldn't come on, and it essentially felt like it wasn't getting enough power. But So I let them open the hard drive case, which I was aware it negated the warranty on the device, but I just wanted my files. And when they told me, well, your disk's not spinning, you have to send it to the company's data retrieval center. And I'm thinking, this was a pretty bad lemon of the batch if it lasted two weeks and it just gone. I have to, and Seagate has their own data recovery center and I called their number. And let me just say, my computer, my desktop is six years old. My gigabyte, my actual hard drive space on my tower is about 32, 36 gigabytes. And so it's full. I, my software is essentially filled it up. So everything I needed off my tower was about seven gigabytes because it was just f like standard files, some photos, um, my banking information, my taxes, you know, important stuff that I knew my motherboard would crap out on me one day. So I wanted to make sure that that was off and taken care of. And then just to buy me some time with my tower, because my tower has already started acting up, I removed some of that space so that way my computer could run. And when I contacted Seagate, they said that data recovery was not under their warranty, and nor is it for any other company. So they said you have to pay a fee to get your data recovered. And then Clinton told me that it was my fault that I didn't back up my files on other devices or other sources, which to me... I can understand that and a life lesson learned, but the fact that your device failing has caused me to have only seven gigabytes out, out on a terabyte to not be accessible to me. And they're like, well, we'll give you a discount, 50% off to retrieve your data. And I'm like, okay, so what's, what's the price? They're like, well, normally it's about 600 to $1,100 depending on your situation. So for you, well, about $399. To retrieve seven gigabytes. And not only that, I contacted my cousin who is a computer repair technician. And he told me he couldn't help me. And then he also educated with me on the fact that they won't be, a, they are likely not to be able to retrieve all of it. So when I send it to them, they're going to come call me back and let me know, oh, well, we can only retrieve a certain percentage of your, of what you had originally. And he told me with the size of the hard drive I had, that it was very likely that they could only get maybe 10% of what was on there, and I would still have to pay the $350, $360, whatever. So, I want to forewarn people. It's like, yeah, Seagate has been boasted as a good brand, but thus far when I have contacted them through my customer service, I let them know that I didn't feel like I should be obligated to pay for that data retrieval considering the, the period of time I had their device. So... I'm using the power of the internet to voice my experience so you guys don't have to experience the same thing. And at the very least, here's the standard I'm holding Seagate up to. This is a Kingston 4 gigabyte little flash drive. I bought this at my college bookstore for about 10 bucks. And that was essentially about four years ago. And I put it through the washer and the dryer in my pants. And I put it, and after that, after I found it, I was like, oh god, I put it in the, the cup of rice, I left it there for about two weeks, and I pulled it out, and it still works. It still works to this day. So, I'm going to buy a Kingston drive, and essentially, I accept the fact that my $70 to $80 dollars I put into that terabyte portable from Seagate is gone. And I essentially have, a bit until 2015, if I still want to 
have them try and extract my files. Yeah. So, without further ado, my customer service conversation, and mind you, also after the, the, the second video, after I found out about how much it was going to cost, right after that phone call ended, I ran around my house screaming my head off hysterically, because this was like right before finals week, and I had no money. So, I'm very surprised that I, my neighbors didn't call the police thinking I was being murdered in my house, because that's how angry I was about it. So, love you guys. Hope you guys enjoy my pain. Mwah! Hey, first of all, I'd like to apologize for my decorum, but I have a lot of angst against this right here. I just bought this on November 12th, about a month ago, and the thing crapped out on me. Like, literally, stopped working, can't attach to any... Thing and light won't turn on, nothing. I have 10 gigabytes of stuff on here. Very valuable stuff by that. I've worked on it for seven to eight years, you know, novels, and then I also have my tax stuff and uh, bills and receipts. And of course, since I have three weeks of school left on um, this semester, all my projects are due, and guess what's in it? it makes me feel so good inside, so angry. I've already had four panic attacks so far. Woo! So I've already called their little rescue file a claim line and she gave me this number to the warranty department so we're gonna see how that goes and I just hope that you guys can hear my phone conversation I'm about to have so here we go thank you for calling Seagate technology to continue in English press 1 we are currently closed due to extreme weather conditions However, many of our automated services are still available to you. To check if your product is under warranty, press 1. I can help you find a store nearest to you. All I need is your address. Please tell me your 5-digit zip code. Yes. Please tell me just the first line of your address. Hmm. I guess I'm gonna have to try that later. Hi, so I bought a one terabyte Seagate hard drive on November 12th. And about last week it stopped working and I took it into uh, staples because I wasn't sure if it was the cable or something and they said that the drive wasn't spinning on it so I I haven't been able to access any of my files that I put on it and I haven't even had it a month and it's completely like I literally he told me I'd have to send it to you guys to extract my files on it okay definitely understand um, let me go ahead and ask have you ever contacted to get before no this is actually my very first product I purchased from you. Okay, uh, doesn't bode well, does it? No. Let me let me go ahead and get a little bit of information and set up a profile for you, and we'll take a look at that drive. All right. Thank you. And your first name? Ashley. Okay. Bear with me. Just want to go ahead and get this saved. Do you happen to have the uh, drive there with you? Yes, I have the drive right in front of me. And I still have the box. Oh, yeah. Okay. And what's the serial number for that drive? Um, so I'm looking at the top uh, number on the back of the stamp on the hard drive. And I'm seeing P-N semicolon 1... D as in dog, 8, A as in apple, P as in penny, 8, dash, 500. Okay, what I'm looking for is, it should say S slash uh, N colon. Okay, that's the next one down. So that number, that number is N as in Nikki, A as in apple, 5, C as in Chris, 6, H as in Henry, W for William, and E as in Eddie. Okay, great. Uh, that is a one terabyte backup plus portable. 
Yes. Correct. So when you take it back to Staples, they, uh, because you've got the data that's on the drive that you don't want to lose, they couldn't do anything about it. Uh, they just went ahead and referred you to us to go ahead and. Yeah, because. Data recovery. Yeah, because they went through and checked to see if it was my cable that came with it. They tried to put an adapter in, but it wouldn't fit into the actual housing on it. And they actually even took it the hard drive out of the case and tried to run it but the disc actually wouldn't spin so it's not getting power or anything when you hook it up let me go ahead and clarify something they removed the drive from inside the little blue or black or silver or red housing um they removed it from the the black case so that to try and access my files because they assumed that it was probably the power and so they figured that if they just were able to hook it up directly they could access it but that wasn't the case okay um if i'm understanding what you're saying they probably voided the warranty on that drive really because they opened the case um What I want to know is uh, if I can get my files off of this thing because I deleted my information off my desktop t so that way I had it in a portable access plus my computer is dying and I honestly cannot access the information I don't have anymore because it's on this hard drive. Right, that's, sure. that's really all uh, I care about. I don't care really about the product. I just want my stuff off of it. When it plugs in my computer, my when I plug it into my when I plug when I plug it into my computer, it my computer registers that there is something in the HSB port. It is trying to connect to it. It basically stalls out, and then I try to eject it, and it cannot eject it because it and it just continues to try and download software to it. The thing, uh, the light on the part, the hard drive does not light up. And it does this for everything I attach it to. Okay, okay, that tells me a lot right there. Okay, um, what I'll do is go ahead and get you over with the data recovery department. I put a lot of notes in here of what's going on, and that way they can go ahead and talk to you about uh, what they can offer as far as data recovery goes. If you decide to go ahead and uh, go with our data recovery department, they'll go ahead and not only do the recovery for your data, but they'll also go ahead and get you the replacement drive Basically, what they'll have you do is go ahead and send the drive into the lab. They'll go ahead and get a hold of the warehouse, have them send a replacement. They'll go ahead and move your data over to the replacement drive and then send you the replacement drive. Okay. So, bear with me just a moment, and I'll have somebody from the data recovery department on the line, and they can go ahead and get you taken care of. All right, thank you. You're absolutely welcome, Ashley. Bear with me, and I'll have somebody here in just a second. Hi, my name is Ashley. I've just been transferred from the warranty department. Um, I bought a one terabyte Seagate portable hard drive a month ago on November 12th, and last week it completely stopped working. It won't uh, actually plug into any device, and I cannot retrieve my files off of it because it's not receiving power and the disk is not spinning within the drive. I'm sorry to hear the drive fell on you so quickly, but I can provide you with data recovery options and see if that's something you would actually be interested in. Uh, what is the email address that you provided to the last agent you spoke with? All right, looks like I got your account here, Ashley. Uh, now, in case we're disconnected, the phone number is Alpha 5 C Charlie 6 H Hotel W Whiskey E Echo. Correct. Okay. All right, so you're saying the drive 
doesn't detect it. It's not spinning up at all. Mm -mm. Um, so that's a horrible drive. Had you, have you tried checking the, the different, uh, different USB cable with the product to see if that changes? Yeah, anything? I took it to staple, the staples where I purchased it, and I was hoping it was just going to be the cable went, went bad or something, and they tried a different cable. They actually took the adapter off the top of the, the drive to try and put a different cord in it, but it couldn't fit. They then... Um, told me that since it's not getting power, they could potentially access my files opening it, and they did, and they told me that the drive was not spinning at all in it. Okay, so they actually took the drive out of its enclosure to do further testing, correct? Correct. Okay, okay. I have less than 10 gigabytes. Um, I think it's around actually seven, but I have bank files, I have uh, taxes, I have schoolwork, I have photos, I have videos, I have essentially everyday stuff. I am in the tra I was hoping to use this portable drive to transition my desktop because it's so old and I filled up the hard drive on my desktop. And so I took everything on my desktop and I transferred it onto this thing and I deleted everything off my desktop so that way I could, my, my, my desktop could have more space and now I don't have access to them anymore. And I have uh, actual written material that has taken me about almost 10 years to write on this thing. So I really, I, I need the stuff off of it. There's no way to replace it. That doesn't make no, any that, sense. That, well, I mean, it, it, it does because the products are, are, you know, sold as backup units. And if you only store the data in one location, that's not backed up. The information is only stored in one place. You know, it's up to each consumer and for every hard drive manufacturer's warranty. It's, it, you have to go ahead and make sure that your files are backed up on multiple devices to make sure that it's safe if something like this were to happen. These ultimately are just mechanical electronic devices. They've been, they're not going to last forever. And while we expect most of them to last three to five years, obviously you're going to have some lemons in there that, that aren't going to last as long. So it's something you always have to be prepared for. Okay. Now, um, with that said, you do, since you do have an in-warranty product, you do qualify for our basic recovery services at a flat rate reduced price. And normally our prices range based on the complexity and the range for the basic recovery starts at six hundred dollars and goes up to thirteen hundred dollars. But with your in warranty drive, you'd be looking at a price of three hundred and ninety nine dollars if that's something that you'd be interested in. Are you kidding me? No. Unfortunately, data recovery is a very expensive process. I mean, like I said, in most cases, you're looking at you know starting at six hundred dollars and going up from there. In most cases, are, are around a thousand. So I mean. It's usually a very, very expensive process. I'm sorry, but I'm a college student and I honestly can't afford that. I'll just take my F for my class, thank you. Have a good day. Oh, one thing that you... Oh, well, um, let me go ahead and see if I can give you another option, because, I mean, at this point, you have this offer extended out to you until the end of your warranty period on the drive, which is going to be um, December 16th of 2015. So if you just need to hold on to the drive for a little while and, you know, uh, do, the, do the recovery at a later time so you can budget for it and everything, you have that time to do so. All right. Thank you. No problem at all, Ashley. You have a good day, and thank you for contacting Seagate. Thank you for calling Seagate Technology. To continue in English, press 1. This call may be monitored for training or quality purposes. Please have your product serial number.
number available for the representative so we can more easily support you. To check if your product is under warranty, press 1. For all other warranty-related questions, please stay on the line and you will be connected to the next available representative. Hi, my name is Ashley. I've already called and had talked with you guys before, so I would kind of like to stop, talk to a manager or supervisor, please. Okay, before I get a supervisor, we would have to know what the issue is and what's going on with you today. So, on November 12th, I purchased a one terabyte portable Seagate hard drive, and after two weeks, I, it stopped working. And the, perp the reason I bought the backup, obviously, was to back up my computer. And unfortunately, those files I had saved onto my Seagate drive are gone off of my tower. And I can't access them off the hard drive anymore. And when I took it into Staples, where I had purchased it, they had... Because the reason I bought your brand was they said, this is the best brand. And... They thought that it might be the cable or something because they had never seen anyone have problems before. And it turned out it wasn't. My actual the disc inside the hard drive was not spinning. And then when I contacted you guys before, um, there was pretty much nothing you guys could do for me. And it incredibly agitated me. Okay, what was the... Um, it was basically that because you guys, even though I was being offered a discount for the data retrieval on my device, it was still outrageous because I, f I honestly believe that if you guys are going to back up your product, that I shouldn't have to pay for the product failing to get my data back off of it. And the service representative that I had talked to in the data department basically said that it was my fault and that I should have backed up my files on multiple devices because this is happens and for how boisterous that I've gone to for everyone, even my classmates in college, they said your guys' products are the best and they've never had problems and the first time I bought your product it died in two weeks. So you already said spoken to data recovery is that department you spoke with? Yes. Um, no, but I did all insert my information, so I'm sure they have me on file. Okay, let me get your phone number with the air code, please. It looks like a lot of personal struggle within data recovery. Um, this actually is the warranty department, and this department we actually replace the drive, so before I get my supervisor, I need to know what is that we can do for you in this department. Well, when I w this was the number I was referenced to before, so I figured I'd start from the very beginning because I don't really I didn't have the number on me for the data recovery center, and I just would like to have someone fix this because I am very bitter about this. Okay, so are you needing data to us or data recovery or? I probably do need to speak to someone in data recovery, so. Thank you. Hello? Yes, ma'am. I'm going to actually speak to someone. I'm not going to just transfer you over. All right. Thank you.
Hello? Ashley? Yes, yeah. this is Brian with Dental Recovery. How are you? Hi, I'm doing okay. So you said your name is Blaine? Brian. Brian, okay. Yes. So I understand that you lost some data on your drive, and uh, you're a little upset about it, which I can totally understand with that. I've been in the same boat. Um, and then it looks like Zach went over the, uh, the promotion that we have going on right now as well for recovering your data. Yeah. I had fragments of it, but a lot of the information that I have that is not backed up is important information, like taxes and receipts. Right. But okay. there's only seven gigabytes on the hard drive itself that I can't retrieve. And of course there's lots of photos, but at this point I really don't care about getting my money back on the device. Really my only concern is I would like my data off of it, but I honestly believe that I should not have to pay the money to get it retrieved off of your device when it was the, it was the device that failed. Uh, and, you, and, and I'm assuming, which everybody does this, they, uh, there's a little white book that comes with the drive that explains that the limited warranty on you know, that recovery is not covered under that warranty, correct? I'm sure that, like, the white, yeah, I do know about the white book. Because it's like at this point with everything I've gone through with your guys' company, because this was the very first product I purchased from you because everyone at Staples and everyone I had talked to through my friends and my computer science classmates, they told me that your guys' brand is the best brand and it's very unfortunate the first time I buy your brand it dies in two weeks and then I go through this fiasco with my data and at this point it's just, I would like t for, you guys to, for you guys to stand behind your product. We do stand behind the product. We do. That's what the limited warranty is for. To make sure that if for some reason something happens to that drive, the limited warranty covers the replacement of the drive. It's just not us, but it's standard why nobody will cover that recovery. It's the consumer's responsibility to make sure that if it's important information, to make sure you have it in more than one location. So at this point, what is available to me? At this point, like I said, I can waive the $49 evaluation fee, which is normally what people would pay, get it into the lab. If we're able to recover the data, the only thing you'd be out is the $350. We put it on the warranty replacement drive and we'd send it back to you. If for some reason we weren't able to get anything off the drive, then you're out nothing and we do the warranty replacement for you. Okay. Well, I thank you for your time, okay. and, but at the same time, it is still very difficult for me, so I'm sad to say I'm probably not going to purchase from your company again, but I am going to just see if I can gather my funds to be able to even afford it. Okay. Not a problem at all. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.